morning, uh, Thursday today. I missed quite a bit of the videoing yesterday because my camera died and forgot the charger and all that bloody carry on. So uh, today's mission, <coughs> still, a bit, still a bit of a cold, but it's all right. Um, up on the house pad, I'm actually here a bit, a bit early, 6.40 got here. So um, just scraping off the house pad, scraping off sort of 50 mils or so because with well, the tractor and the digger going over it, well, it was a bit wet. Dragged a bit of topsoil mud over it, so just scraping the top layer off, and then I'll actually undercut some of the high bits to 300 below because we're going to put a 300 mil pad on. So um, yeah, I actually worked until quite late last night, so it's six o'clock, and then um, yeah, yeah, a bit early this morning because it's getting an inspection about 8.30 or 9 or something so try to be here early for that yeah so I'll just go through give it all a bit of a scrape off and then it'll be a nice clean surface virgin soil so it hasn't been touched and then it should pass its uh, inspection and then we'll be ready to lay some sand on it real work can happen. Not all this bloody mucking around around the outside of the house, you can actually get the house pad done, so. Yeah. Keep moving on with this. I think it's still not quite warmed up, so I don't have the revs all the way up, but um, yeah. Sun, the body come up. And we can turn the lights off and get into it properly. Just finished cutting out this bit for the garage driveway area. Now I'm gonna um, uh, zero it out. I roughly just chuck this through. Chuck's brown rock through so the trucks can turn around up here. Then I'll head down the bottom of the driveway and fix up <coughs> some of the bits of the driveway that are punching through. Oh, still can barely talk. Turn an area rolled in or tracked in, and then Pete and Simon chucked, were chucked a couple more loads on that hill because that was sort of punching through, and then down on this crossing and this corner, and then now I'm just adding another layer just through this bottom, just yeah, just another couple of loads just over the top, and then I'll chuck maybe one here. And we like one. what we're doing oh, when the people are halfway up. Sort of, as you can see, it's just sort of getting a bit rutty. A few ruts are popping up, and like it's just, it's just a little bit soft. So just add another layer on the top, and hopefully it holds up. As long as it holds up for our boys who are bringing in material all day, then everything. 
everything else should hold up. All the other side traffic it won't be as heavy as us, or the concrete trucks might be heavier, but um, they won't be as frequent as our boys coming in, bringing the rock and the sand in. So that's the goal. Anyway, I'll see, see if I can actually get it to hold up. But, yeah, just bring more rock in if we need it. When it punches through, the rock stays in the ground, so it'll hold up eventually. today for the water boys uh, for the little pump that they wanted in so I did that Two now. Oh, that is loud. Um, boys are bringing in some sand now. Uh, it's super clean. So for the whole, Jesus, bloody useless. Um, so all this loam that I dug out, super clean stuff. No topsoil in it. I'll be adding that to the sand and then mix it together to make a nice uh, nice base yeah I have to pile quite a bit of it up just to make sure I can get enough out of it yeah we got all used to get all that lime sitting on the ground haven't we yeah, well it's just this stuff on this side that's the cleaner stuff, the rest of it did have a little bit of topsoil through it, but yeah, I can sort of pick through it, but yeah, I don't know if it's going to do the whole pad. Yeah, right, oh bloody, uh, see what we can work out, I'll go back and have a decent look. Yeah, we're still going to get in there with a dozer and push it all down, I don't think they really give a fuck, eh? Yeah, when I'm going home in the evening, I bloody always... I've got a couple couple bucket loads of uh, loam in here and I'll mix it up, throw it around and then I'll put a quite a thin layer on and I'll track it in a bit and then uh, once we get a good amount on I can chuck the roller on it that I've got parked up now. I guess I've done all that pad on there and finished off the driveway <laughs> through to where I'd come around the corner. So, yeah, little Mark's just turning up now with the bobcat. So, 
won't use the bobcat quite yet, but yeah, it'll be handy once we get a bit closer. Right, so I've got a few loads of sand in now. Uh, boss man, can help me out, which is good. Jump on the roller for me. Um, yeah, been bloody flat out. Yeah, quarter past four now, one of the boys has jumped out, guessing that's that truck last load because he used to shoot me in the town. Um, but yeah, um, so I've got this back section to my left, a few layers on that, which is good, build that up a little bit. And then the rest of it, I'm just trying to get it covered just with one layer, just a little bit of sand, just so we can get it um, covered up for the night. It's not supposed to rain tonight, but there is a bit of rain, but a few showers coming tomorrow, much time or so, so yeah, try and get it covered best we can for the moment. productive today, got quite a lot done which is good. Tomorrow will be bloody flat out. Getting the rest of the sand in, we might be able to, oh no I don't actually think so, but we'll get quite a bit of the sand in tomorrow, Friday, so yeah, have a good go at it. stuff coming in so it's actually been really wet so that also has actually helped because it's been binding up a bit more so going down pretty hard which is awesome Yeah, 
there, so I'm just shaping up this edge. The excess, <coughs> excess uh, fill that I got off uh, this morning. Shaping it up, tracking it in. So it might get a little bit of rain over tonight, but not too sure. So just to be sh just to be safe, get it this sorted out. Yeah, so. 